Hello everyone and welcome to Gugudan Thursday. So today is all about Shokoko Factory. But before I talk about this album, I want to play my favorite from last episode, A Girl Like Me. That was my favorite from um, Gudan's, uh, I think it's Act 2, Narcissus. <laughs> Narcissus. <laughs> wow, this is a mouthful. But yeah, that was my favorite from last week. So this week is all about Chococo um, Factory. And it only has like three songs on there, um, Chococo lucky and snowball the thing is this album felt a bit underwhelming because um it fell into the cate- the one of the reasons why i'm not a fan of like shorter albums because when now i have like troubles like kind of vibing with the song because there's not many songs it affects like my overall enjoyment of like the entire um, project because there's not like something else to uh, really listen to or, and everything and with this album um, there's one song that I really love and then the rest like they definitely have to be like I have to listen to them more to kind of vibe with them uh it's like i need to be in a certain mood to listen to those songs and there's nothing wrong with them it's just like everything that i say on the channel even like my rankings and everything it's my personal enjoyment and um when i look at an album or listen to an album things that i consider are like do i love the song do i vibe with this like um 
is there potential for like a is there a replay value to the song and stuff like this this is what i i look out when i listen to an album for the first time and my rankings are solely based on how many times i believe i could um replay that song without getting tired and also how much I enjoy listening to a song. So the thing with this, it's because there's only three songs. So if like more than one song, I'm not vibing with them, like it's obviously going to affect my overall enjoyment of um, the project, which just happened the, to be the case here where like there are two songs that, I really need to be in a certain mood to listen to. But there is that one song. You know, there's always that one song. There is that one song that I really, really do enjoy in um, in this album. So as an album overall, Shokoko Factory would be like underwhelming. And um, two of the songs I really have to um, listen to more and see if my mind change over time. Now, when it comes to my favorite song, it is Snowball.
And that was my favorite song in Chococo Factory, Snowball. The thing I love about the song is just how beautiful it is. Like, Google Dan has amazing vocals, hands down. Like, they are really, really good when it comes to those, like, slower songs. They do them very well. Like, other type of songs as well, but, like, this particular type of song, they do very well. And I just enjoy the, the melody and the chorus is just so catchy that, like, you just need a day. A day and you start singing along to this record, I promise you. And that's really what um, drew me to the song in this album. So even though like the other songs were not um, the type of song that I was vibing with, but this one song really elevated the whole single album for me. So I'm really curious to see what's going to happen with the next album because so far it's been like um um underwhelming then I really love it then underwhelming again so I don't know what's going to happen with the next album but one thing for sure it just makes this journey even more special and interesting because um I love seeing my enjoyment level grow when it comes to an artist and it's definitely something that I look forward to when it comes to Google Dan and see how like the rest of the discography is going to fit in my overall like enjoyment and everything but so far I would say that um in terms of an album that this particular one was just a little bit underwhelming for me but it doesn't take away from me wanting to check out more of Gugu Dan's music. So that's it for me today. I see you next week for another episode of Gugu Dan Thursdays.